What's going on guys, Chu here bringing you a, another review on Ed and Zero, and in this episode, we actually have it titled In the Doghouse, which is a very good title for an episode in my opinion, and I actually thought it was pretty good, we had a lot going on here that just doesn't feel like it, but things got serious pretty darn quickly. We start this episode off with actually seeing the group kind of discussing what is going to happen with Laguna. Obviously, they don't trust him. And I mean, this kind of applies to Klein and, and Jen because both of them, obviously, they don't they were they were part of Draken's people. And I love that in this episode, too, we got to see a little bit of conversation between Laguna and Klein where we actually see them or in Jen as well, where we actually see him talking saying that he thought that what draken was doing wasn't exactly the worst thing he didn't think he was doing anything bad but after he found out that he was basically going to become or becoming this thing excuse me he would actually be you know kind of a pretty bad person so he thought that up until that point everything was going well so props to him for thinking that but we know we get to see them obviously staying on the ship and the treaty or the i guess you could say the deal that he struck up with which which is to find another planet to live on and not be in the cosmos that he was previously in so you know fair enough you know so i did like that we got to see a little bit of that and the origin of the whole demon king name and how you know he isn't really being called a demon so that explanation given to him kind of was kind of fun to watch his reaction to but not bad we also get to see jesse being found out as a traitor to elsie and her crew and i've always hated jesse i've always had hated this character if you are a manga reader you guys will know exactly why i just can't stand this character but now you know we have justice and all the interstellar group just being basically right behind them at this point uh but even though elsie was in in this position she still thinks that jesse's cute and actually decides to let him be free which is something that not many people do but she kind of shows the same kindness that was shown to her by ziggy and the shining stars many many years ago so props for elsie being who she is great great character in my opinion and we'll see a lot more of her in this arc uh it's it's a lot really but um we also get to see the group trying to make their way to foresta uh, and they want to go find all this great food they're actually kind of a bit hungry themselves so this actually works out for them and so they're on their way over there and uh we actually see this uh planet being very very uh i guess you can say green and it looks a bit unusual uh, we see how there's really no place to land for the ship and it's just they're not getting a lot of signal so it, it is a bit strange but what throws them really off is the fact that we have uh, the planet being run by droids or you could say robots and the thing that really kind of like surprises me here well surprises me is the fact that we, while they're there we also have the enemy and like when i was reading this in the manga i was just like how did they not cross paths you know like honestly they should have like just as soon as they were arriving so but these new guys that we're seeing as these new villains that are on the planet they're gonna be quite the threat but not as threatening as what happens to these guys basically not even 20 minutes on this planet we actually have them realizing that humans are being basically uh, becoming pets uh, dogs even if you want to and we have the robots basically becoming kind of like the overlords and so we even see this one robot destroying the other because of basically opinions and we find out that ziggy has actually already planted in the desire for robots to become their overlords so ziggy is working quickly and he's working in different planets and so stuff you know just crazy stuff happens stuff hits the fan i'm not saying the actual word and we they basically fool the robots that were kind of finding out that the group was there and 
I do like how that didn't last. Like they were trying to kind of fall into order, but we basically have them taking out the robots and hiding. And who they find was someone kind of interesting. They find Couchbo, who is a beekeeper just like Rebecca. She actually is known for being a food critic. And we see her actually having all this different types of food. And, you know, there's she's giving them an update about what has happened. Obviously, like I've already mentioned, Ziggy was the one that basically made these droids uh, become kind of like rewired them and wanting them to, to take over the world or the galaxy, really. And making humans the subservient species. It was kind of messed up too because we actually saw corpses of humans but it was just not really like i guess detailed which kind of makes it like if they had done something like attack on titan like detail that would have been kind of nasty so i'm glad that here we don't get as much detail of that we know that people are dying there which is messed up but you know we don't see that but after couchbook gives them this update they are becoming they become surrounded by all of these uh robots and people trying to oh these people obviously robots excuse me are trying to take them down and of course they have no other choice but to fight and so to me it's just getting pretty good like from a nice little moment to this crazy ending of an episode it's just getting good and this is just the tip of the iceberg when it comes to this arc i'm really excited for it and so it's gonna get good but guys thank you so much for watching if you guys enjoyed make sure to like comment subscribe all that good jazz it helps out tremendously but most importantly guys stay safe and i'll catch